What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Drive Talk Cars. And in today's episode, we're going to be repairing with a plug my tire on my E63. Unfortunately, got a nail in it. So let's get into it. So I got a slow leak in my tire. I've uh, been filling it up over the past couple of days and it's not holding. I thought it was because the weather was changing, you know, hot and cold. Sometimes you get a little air out your tire, but that's not the case. So I picked up a tire repair kit. I'm going to attempt to plug it. Uh, I've never done this before. So it looks pretty straightforward. So let's see what we get. So it's a nine piece kit. Um, I picked it up from Walmart. You probably can get it off of Amazon too. I have a link in the description down below, but it's not that expensive. In the kit, you get a tire pressure gauge. You get the actual, uh, I guess it's like rubber substance. This is what actually plugs the hole. You get another tool. This is used to clean out the hole. So you put it in the hole and you clean it out. And then this is the tool that sticks these rubber pieces in there. So let's get started. All right, so as we can see here, I have a nail, it's a very small nail in here, but it is definitely leaking from there. Taking my soapy water, you spray it on there. And as you can see, it starts bubbling up. That means you have air leaking. This is a slow leak. It's not anything too bad. It's not like the tire was ever flat. So if you don't have something like that, where it's just a nail, then you would have to try other areas like around the bead where the tire connects to the wheel. You can spray around there with soapy water and see if it bubbles up. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is take out the nail. So I'm just using my screwdriver, flathead, and I'm going to take it out. All right, so now that I have the nail out enough to where I can use my needle nose pliers, I can grab on it and pull it out. So obviously air is going to escape. So here is what was in the tire. Looks like a broken off nail. So it wasn't a full nail. So now in the kit, what we're gonna use is this tool here. So this tool is gonna go in the hole. It's actually gonna make it bigger. It has a rigid edge to it. So in the process of going in and out, it's cleaning it of any debris and smoothing it out so the plug can go in there and adhere to the tire. All right, so with the tool, we're going in the hole and we're gonna go in and out. All right, so it's hard to push this in. I'm thinking because it has so much air still in it. So maybe, maybe I should take the air out. I'm trying to push this all the way through, it's pretty hard. All right, so let's let the air out faster so we can see if we can make it easier to push down on the tool. So it's getting clean and it's getting smooth because this is easier to go in and out. The hole is definitely bigger. I feel more air coming out. There we go. So now that we have that hole bigger, cleaned out, it's going through easily, we can go ahead and apply the plug. Now we're going to use our tool here. Don't know the name of it, but this is the tool we're gonna to use to drive the plugs into the opening that we just made. All right, so they're pretty sticky. They come with this plastic covering on it. We're gonna take one of them off. If I can get it off here. 
All right, so we got one out of there. So what we're doing here is placing the sticky, the sticky substance in between the opening of this tool here. All right, so we're pushing it through there. So we want it halfway on the tool like so. And then I think we're done with that. So as you can see here, the tip is rounded. This is the part that's gonna go in here. I'm gonna run it across it. Instead of going like this, I'm gonna have it like that. Does it matter? I don't know, but I'm just thinking it, that would be the best. So we're just gonna push down into the hole. So you do have to put put a little weight on it. I'm starting to think my hole is not big enough here. So let's try it again with this. Oh yeah, that goes in there. All right, I guess I just gotta put more put more juice on it. When I say juice, I mean more muscle. Man, I'm pushing in there. Man, that's hard to get in there. Okay, so we hit our first obstacle. Either I'm just not putting enough pressure on it, or this is not going in. All right, after some time, we got the plug in there. So now we have to slowly pull this out and the plug should stay in the hole. Boy, that stuff is sticky. I don't know if it got more and more sticky as I had to mess with it more, but it is hard to come out. All right, we got it out. So I mean, you can leave this like this and it will come off on the road. The, the road will wear it down or you can cut it. But first, I wanna make sure that it's sealed. So I'm gonna do the soapy water again. Let me put some air in there just to make sure that it's got air. Check to see where we are. All right, we got 25. Still no bubbles. All right, we have the proper PSI. Let's see if there's any bubbles. Don't see any. No bubbles, so i say that's a success. So you can cut that off like I said, or you can leave it on there and the roll will grind it down. I might cut a little bit off of it, but the road is gonna do the rest of it. I'm just gonna cut the tips off. We're gonna be careful because we don't want to create another puncture in the tire. Maybe scissors are better to do this. All right, so trimmed it down. Don't think it was worth it. And like I said, the road will handle the rest of that. All right, there you have it. I have successfully plugged my first tire.
first time ever and to be honest it sucked i don't know if it was because of me or because of the tire that i have maybe bigger tires or bigger profile tires are easier to plug but this one wasn't that easy now it is like i said worth doing if you either don't have the money to get a tire at the moment or you just need a quick emergency plug. Um, I know sometimes with these performance tires or higher end wheels and tires, they don't always have them in stock, so you have to wait. So maybe that's when the plug is best for you. But I'll have a link in the description down below to some kits like this, plug and patch. Patch, you have to take the tire off and do it from the inside, so it's not really a DIY unless you have a machine to take off the tire from the will so if you enjoyed this video please give me that thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this check out these videos here or maybe they're over here remember do it until you can't until next time i'm out